This is where I came from. This is where I belong. In the water where salmon are king. Salmon know this water. They breathe it, smell it, enrich it, honor it. Salmon know this landscape. They were shaped by it. It's their home, and home is where we all belong. From microbes to brown bears, water oozles to ponderosa pines, salmon are literally everywhere, connected, and connections build communities like a web, each tie, each strand, providing strength to a greater whole. Are we still part of this fabric, this ecology? Of course we are, but have we gained wisdom and compassion from our elders? Do we listen to the Lorax? Do we respect and honor Mother Earth, our beautiful, powerful, wondrously sublime planet? From across North America, there are stories of certain animals saving the people of those regions. For the Great Plains tribes, they speak of a time when people were pitiful and starving upon the land. The bison people stepped forward as a gift to the human beings. And the same for the peoples in the Pacific Northwest. They speak of salmon people stepping forward and giving their bodies to feed human beings. In return, the people created and adopted ceremonial customs, honoring the salmon for their sacrifice to the people. It is a ceremony to take care of the salmon for feeding the people. This is a great gift promised, as long as the promise to take care of the salmon is honored. When Shoshone peoples called salmon agite, hunting free-flowing rivers alongside raven, coyote, bear, and wolf, Indigenous people spoke of being related to a rock. To some, this may sound absurd, but when a salmon dances on the rocks and lifts them in the water, it is as though the rocks are dancing with the salmon. We should start dancing with the salmon again. Our two most simple of elements, water and rock. These elements are used in sacred ceremonies as the breath of life. And for the salmon, it is the beginning and end of life, not a dichotomy of life and death, but one and the same, as are the rocks, water, and ourselves. More recently, we have adopted many dichotomies that threaten our way of life. 
We should remember the way of the salmon, because we are salmon people, a people whose very existence is not only dependent upon salmon, but exists as a result of the salmon dying, and thus giving life to our mothers and fathers, family and friends. In that sense, how can we separate ourselves from rock, water, plants, or animals? Separating our lives from those of the salmon is a dichotomy that threatens our existence and that of salmon. It is not us and them. Rather, we are the same, and the salmon is us. Our hearts pump blood as the rivers run. We present our energy and song through ceremony to carry the salmon on those fluid courses, our most sacred lakes and rivers. They hear us, and they come back to where they were born. The salmon travels through our veins to live on, and at the same time, through the streams where they are born and where they die. As rocks are sorted and eggs are laid, they fall together, woven into an articulated womb upon the stream bottom. Water weaves in and out of interstitial spaces, nourishing each egg with oxygen, as a mother's milk nourishes her child. Rocks and water sustaining life, and this is why we are related. Because once those eggs emerge into swimming fish, they will move to the ocean and grow, returning as giants to nourish the people, as promised. We are obligated to return that promise to our fellow salmon. We must ensure their existence by caring for the habitat they rely upon. Harvest only what we need and no more. This promise was inherited to all who live here. When you call this place home, you call the salmon your relative. Salmon are a source of life and creation. This story is theirs and ours.